So the cave that we're dealing with at the Capricorn Caves is called Colosseum Chamber and it's part of the tourist cave so the, the, the people in the Capricorn Caves actually take tourists um, walking through the cave a couple of times a day and they've been doing that for years and years and years and they didn't actually know that there was a fossil site where they were literally walking over the top of it. When we went through some of the fossils that we had collected we found this tiny little bone, it's around about a centimetre long and it's a bone that we hadn't seen in this deposit before, we'd seen it elsewhere and in itself it's quite a boring looking bone but it's really significant because we immediately recognised it as being a bone that belonged to a giant lizard, a, a, either a Komodo dragon sized thing or something that was even bigger, an animal called Megalania. And these guys got up to around about five or six metres in length and weighed possibly as much as five or six hundred kilograms. And we've got a wonderful record of this thing in the cave. And part of the other story is the dating side of things. So we've been working really hard using radiocarbon dating and another technique that we do at the university here called uranium thorium dating. And what's really interesting is to, to put that bone into a context of our understanding of where it fits in sort of geological time. And what was really awesome for us is that this particular specimen of this giant lizard dates to around about 49 or 50,000 years ago. And we know that that was around about the same time that the first humans actually arrived in Australia as well. So there's been a bit of debate whether humans and these giant lizards had overlapped in time previously. And there's a, some controversial data here and there. And but now we've got the first conclusive data anywhere on the entire continent to show that, that really cool relationship.